Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is John Guthrie and in this video I wanted to share with you my weight loss journey as I lost 25 pounds down from 195 to 170 where I'm currently at right now. And I wanted to share this with you because I know a lot of people out there, especially right now during coronavirus, so many people are struggling with their weight and have gotten into some bad habits. And I'm gonna link above and in the description below, but last week I posted a video on how to stop bad habits and to form a routine. So when it comes to weight loss, there are three key things that you need to pay attention to. One, your mindset. Two is you're gonna be your diet. And three is exercise. And when you combine all three of these things like I did, you will be losing one to two pounds a week consistently with no problem. So first I'm gonna dive into the mindset. So think about your mindset like it's your plan. So what do you do when you wake up in the morning? You wake up at seven o'clock, you take a shower, you eat your breakfast, brush your teeth, and you drive to work. Well, we need to have that same type of plan for losing weight, and that's gonna help you stick to a plan and stick to your goals, which leads into the second part of having a mindset, which is to set goals that you can't currently achieve, but would be achievable within six to 12 months, or even, even three months, let's say three to 12 months. So as an example, last fall when I started this weight loss journey, I had a goal that I wanted to run a marathon. So I knew that I could not run a marathon where I was currently at. I could barely run a mile. So what I had to do was I had to make a goal that was three months out, six months out, and then a year out. So first I said, okay, let's get myself back into shape so I could run five miles. So I slowly worked my way up to five miles. So next I said, to get to that marathon, I need to be able to run a half marathon. So right now, I'm currently four weeks out from my half marathon in April, and I am on track. I've got an 11 mile run this Saturday that I'm super pumped for. I'm up to about 25, 26 miles a week now. So compare that to where I was back in September, I mean, I was running maybe three miles a week. So as you can see, you make these goals and they lead into bigger goals, which then leads into bigger goals. And as you get closer to that 12 month goal that you had originally set, now you can start making other goals that are 12 more months down in the future. And see, if you keep on building like this, you're only gonna go in this hugely positive direction. So that's why I really love setting goals. I really highly recommend you write these down on paper and go back and look at these. When you get to that first goal, look back at the goals you made and just think, wow, I never would have imagined that I'd be here where I am today. Like it's, it's one thing to set the goal, it's another thing to actually get to that goal. So I think that's huge. So another big piece of your mindset is gonna be committing yourself to making these changes. You have to realize what got you in the place that you're in right now. Whether you're 20, 50, 100, 200 pounds overweight, really dig deep into what you've been doing over the past year or two years and how you got to where you're at right now. This is gonna help you to be able to work through those things and to push past and to lose that weight and to stick to it. And the last part of my mindset is to really be able to understand that you are on your own path. I don't want you to be looking at Instagram models and thinking that you're gonna be looking like them within six months. It's just not attainable. A lot of these models are taking performance enhancing drugs or otherwise known as PEDs and their bodies just are not naturally attainable. So it's really important to kind of be realistic with what you think you could achieve. So it's very important to not compare yourself to other people. You're on your own path. This is for you, this isn't for anybody else. If you're only doing this so you can show off your pictures on Instagram or flex on the beach, you're really not going into it with the right mindset. You wanna be going into this with the mindset that you're changing your life for the better. You're losing this weight so that you can live a longer, healthier life. And I'm gonna go deeper into this in the diet and exercise section. So now that we've covered mindset and how important that is to this weight loss journey, Let's get into the next most important part of this puzzle, which is gonna be your diet. Now, in my situation, the diet was exactly what caused me to go up to 195 pounds, and I'm gonna tell you exactly what I was doing. It wasn't so much what I was eating, rather than what I was drinking. Last summer, I was in vacation mode pretty much all summer. I was drinking a lot of alcohol, smoking cigars, and had built this pretty nice cigar collection, and I really wasn't eating healthy. And months of this turned into me being this overweight, lazy, piece of crap. And I can joke about that now because I'm in the situation where I'm at now and I can look back in just complete amazement at how far I had let things go. And I'm sure some of you guys may be doing this right now. You might be thinking about your own life and just wondering how this happened. But it's important to realize that it did happen somehow 
and you have to figure that out. Whether it was your diet, lack of exercise, or whatever it was, just be honest with yourself, and if it was your diet, then this section is really gonna help you to make those changes to your diet, to get healthy, and to get in shape fast. So for my own personal experience, the best way to lose weight is by combining a low-carb diet with intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting is when you have a window of the day that you eat during, and then you don't eat until the next day when you get back to that window. For example, let's say you have a 16 to eight intermittent fasting eating schedule. This means that for 16 hours of the day, you're fasting, not eating, and for eight hours of the day, that's when you can get your calories in. So just for an example, let's say you have the eight hour eating window of 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. This would mean that you eat your breakfast at 9 a.m. and you finish eating by 5 p.m and then you don't eat until the next morning at 9 a.m. and then you just rinse and repeat. Now, I would suggest you do start with the 16-8 just so your body can adapt to intermittent fasting. I started like this and I was able to work my way to a 20 to four eating window, which is when I really started losing about three pounds per week like clockwork. And I would seriously recommend that anybody who is serious about losing their weight do get down to a 20 to four eating window. It's incredible how much weight you're gonna be able to lose and all the foods that you're still going to be able to eat. Now, you may be wondering, is intermittent fasting safe? Is it unhealthy? And not only is it safe, but is it is extremely healthy and it is extremely beneficial for your body. So why does intermittent fasting work so well? Well, that's a great question. And it's because oftentimes a lot of people end up having to switch their eating routine to say they're eating three meals a day and snacking at night. Well, now you can only eat between nine and five. So now you might only have time to eat two meals, plus you're not snacking at night. So you can see just by doing that, how many fewer calories you're gonna be consuming by doing this. And that's really the key to losing weight is calories in versus calories out. I'm sure you've heard it a million times. If you're consuming more calories than you're burning, you're going to gain weight. If you're consuming less calories than you're burning, you're going to lose weight. And another serious benefit of intermittent fasting is that it's gonna give your body time to rest. So when you're eating all day, three meals a day, snacking at night, snacking when you wake up, snacking throughout the day at work, your body is under a constant load to digest and get all that food through your body. So when you do intermittent fasting, it actually gives your liver, your stomach, your intestines, it gives all that a chance to rest which is so important because let's face it, your organs only have a limited life on them and we wanna do everything we can in our power to make sure that those organs last as long as possible. So another thing intermittent fasting does is it causes what's called autophagy. Autophagy is where your body breaks down and recycles dead cells. So I don't wanna to get too much into the science of this. If you guys want me to do a whole video on intermittent fasting and the deep science behind it, let me know in the comments, but I do wanna keep this video relatively on topic, so I'm not gonna go further into it than that. But just know, intermittent fasting has been studied for a long time, and I highly recommend it for weight loss. You're gonna see incredible results, I guarantee it. Try it for a month and you're gonna see some incredible results. So onto the low carb portion of this. This is so important combined with intermittent fasting because what do carbs do? They spike your insulin. Spiking your insulin is gonna cause your blood sugar to go up. This causes a brief spike in your energy, but as that blood sugar starts to go down, you start to go down with it. And this oftentimes results in that post-lunch fog that you're in where you eat lunch, you get back to work, and you're just sitting at your desk like, how am I supposed to make it through the rest of the day? This is because of those insulin spikes and your blood sugar spiking and falling. So how do you stop this? You stop eating carbs or switch to a low carb diet so that your insulin isn't spiking as much. And you can see by how that insulin would spike and then fall and you would need more carbs to re-spike that insulin up to get that energy, how it results in you snacking throughout the day. And this fits right into intermittent fasting when you can cut down those carbs it makes it much easier to stick to intermittent fasting because you're not getting those cravings to constantly be eating to get that energy back up. A really good tip for switching to a lower carb diet is to increase your fats. I recommend going to peanut butters. MCT oil is a great one. MCT oil stands for medium chain triglyceride oil. It took me so many times to get that right. But what this does is it bypasses your liver and provides direct energy via ketones to your brain. This allows you to bypass those cravings that you get when you are eating carbs so that you don't need to continuously eat the carbs to keep your energy up. It's just gonna give you a constant state of energy and it's also gonna curb your appetite. So what I do is when I finish eating my dinner at around five or 6 p.m., I'll take a tablespoon of MCT oil and it'll curb my appetite all the way until the next day when I eat around 1 p.m. There's no way I can explain to you how well this works. You just have to try it for yourself. It really does feel like it's magic at first 
to just not be hungry for 20 hours until you get to that next eating window, but it seriously works. And I have a link in the description below. So if you guys wanna try it out for yourself, go ahead and check it out in the description below. It's an Amazon link and I do earn commission on that. So when you do purchase using my link, it does help the channel out, so I appreciate it. But by no means is it necessary. And just real quick guys, if you're enjoying this video at all, if you're getting any insightful information, go ahead and give it a like. This really helps me understand what kind of content you guys wanna see. The more likes I get, the more I know that I'm reaching the audience that I need to be reaching. So let me know, leave me a comment. Am I doing a good job? What other kind of things would you like to hear me talk about? Okay, back to the video. So to end with this low carb diet, let me know if you want me to do a more in-depth video on a low carb diet. I, I know it's kind of hard for me to get into the nitty gritty details in this one video because there's so much information that I could pack into one video, but I really want to keep it on track. I want to give you a really simple set of guidelines that you can follow. So let me know if you would like me to go into more detail on low carb, on intermittent fasting. Just let me know what you guys want to see. Throw it down in the comments below. So now that we've covered diet, let's get right into the exercise portion of this video. This might be the section that some of you are just dreading to watch, but stick with me guys. I'm gonna show you how you can get into exercise really easy and not really worry about having to live up to the standards that you see in the exercise community. So first off, it's so important to realize your body's limitations and capabilities. What I mean by this is if you're 100 pounds or more overweight, you really probably shouldn't be doing any sort of running I would really recommend you start off with really working on your flexibility, getting outside and walking, doing more of that kind of thing before you get into a more strenuous activity like running. If you're that much overweight, you're gonna destroy your knees if you start running right now. So if you do wanna do any form of cardio, I recommend starting off on a bike. You can do an elliptical, or like I said, just start walking outside, or even, even swimming. But to start off, if you're really new to all this, I really want to make sure you understand how important it is to start slow. So even for me, I had run half marathons before and even I didn't get right back into running like that. I started off extremely slow for two whole months and you can see this on my Strava app. This is where I record all my runs. You can go check it out on Strava. My name is John Guthrie, just like it is on here. But you can look at all my exercise activities from when I started in September all the way up until now. And I spent two whole months running twice per week, okay? Two months running twice per week. And all these runs were done at extremely slow paces. Now, I had a plan with this. This, is, this goes back to the mindset and how ready you are, how much work you're willing to put in. I went through two months of basically running like a grandpa to get to where I am right now. And this is so important because this is gonna help you to avoid injury. There's nothing worse than getting started on your fitness journey and you get injured a month into it. So I would say this goes for any kind of activity, whether you're lifting weights, running, biking, anything like that. I really want you to take a couple months and really focus on that flexibility, okay? I highly recommend foam rolling. I'll stick a link to a good foam roller down in the description below for you guys to check out. Get a good yoga mat, and I would, I would recommend really starting out these first couple months doing daily stretching, daily foam rolling, and, and just work on exercising, getting out there, walking a lot, you know, get outside, get off the couch. If you're watching TV, you should be stretching, foam rolling, doing anything like that while you're doing that just to be kind of working on things. And so that's a really easy way to get into it is just while you're doing your exercise, watch TV, okay? You don't have to completely give up the TV to exercise. If you go to a gym and you're on the bike, they've got TVs there, or you can read a book while you're doing it. Whatever it is that, that will get you to exercise on top of what you're doing, I, I highly recommend. But I can't stress enough how important it is to start slow and build your way up. Now, where I am right now, I'm doing an 11 mile run tomorrow. There's no way I could have done this back in September, okay? I would have destroyed my knees, my feet would have been broken. It's not smart to do that. You might have to take a hit to the ego, lift light at the gym, go two, three times a week to start for the first couple months. I didn't implement lifting back into my exercise routine until about month three. So I went two to three months without lifting a single weight and then I got back into the gym. Just because you're not doing something right now doesn't mean you won't be doing it in a few months time. 
Just take it slow, ease into it, avoid injury. The best way to continue down these, this path and to continue to reach these goals is to stay healthy. You have to stay healthy. The diet is gonna determine how you're performing on your exercise. The health of your body is gonna determine how you're performing on these exercises. Your mindset, okay? The last thing I want you to do is to lose 20 pounds, start running five times a week, and all of a sudden your knees are destroyed and you can't run for three months. That's the last thing I want for you. So start slow, start with the diet, start stretching, easing into activities, and work your way up to those goals that you have set. This is why you do a three month plan, six month, 12 months. Focus those first three months on just getting into shape, losing weight. So a really cool test I want you to do is next time you're at the gym, go ahead and, and grab a 20 pound weight and imagine yourself running with that weight. That's what you're doing when you're 20 pounds overweight. You don't wanna be running with 20 extra pounds on your body. So it's important to get that weight down it's gonna take so much pressure off your knees, your ankles, your hips, and it's really gonna allow you to enjoy it much more without getting injured. So that covers the exercise portion of this video. Like I said, I do record all my runs and post them on Strava, so if you're interested in getting into running too, go ahead and follow me on there. I'll follow you back and we can do this together. I'll give you tips, you can leave comments on my runs, and I'll respond back. I'll let you know what I think you should be doing. If I think you're going too fast, I would highly recommend you invest in some sort of heart rate monitor. Um, this can be an Apple Watch, uh, Fitbit, whatever you can find that can record your heart rate. When you're starting out, it's important to keep your heart rate low. Oftentimes you might hear heart rate zone training. You really wanna stay in level three or two of that heart rate training for about two to three months, and that's exactly what I did. And I really wouldn't be where I am today if I hadn't have done that. All that work that I put in for those three to six months leading up to now has allowed me to become the runner that I am right now, has allowed me to become the athlete in the gym that I am right now. So just to let you guys know, my current goals right now, I have my sub three hour marathon planned in October. I have a 50 mile ultra marathon that I'm doing in August of 2022 that all this training is leading up to that. I don't know if I wanna push it much past that, but that's besides the point, that's for later down the line. So I do plan on doing some type of running series or some type of beginner program on stretching and foam rolling. Let me know in the comments if you think that's something that you would wanna see. And if it is, go ahead and subscribe so that you don't miss it when I do put it out. So with all that said, I'm really excited for you to get started on this journey. I get so excited when people around me get passionate about losing weight and exercising. It's so awesome to see that mindset change where they go from somebody who's sitting on the couch all day, they're miserable, they're unhappy, to now they're so motivated to get out and chase after their goals. They're off the couch, they're happier, they're eating healthier. It's insane the transformation you can make. Even in just a month, I'm telling you, you can completely change the way you view life in one month, I guarantee it. The sooner you start, the sooner you're gonna see these results. That's just plain and simple. And the reason why I wanted to put this video out right now is because I think a lot of you are going to be able to get that back within three months. And in three months, it's summertime, and I want you guys to really be able to enjoy summer. I want you to be able to go to the beach and look great in your bikini or look great in your swimsuit so it's so important to me. I really am passionate about this and helping people to reach their goals and living prosperous. That's what this channel is all about and what it always will be about. You might see me do different topics that don't really mix and match with each other, but that's okay. All these videos that I'm doing are here to help you. If all the videos that I do, if it touched one person, that's all I need. I just want people to realize how much better their lives can be, how much better your life can be if you just make these simple changes and continue on that path through the rest of your life. You don't have to go down this path you're going on. Wherever you're at right now, imagine yourself continuing that over the next 20 years. Just for a second, I wanna imagine that you're in that spot 20 years from now and look back at where your life is right now. Is this gonna be the time where you start to break off into a different path? Or is this gonna be the time that you continue down this path that's leading you nowhere? I really want for you guys to be able to experience changing your life for the better. It's gonna affect so many people around you. It's gonna affect you. I guarantee your work performance will increase. You're gonna be happier about yourself. The people around you, you might lose people that are around you. Some people just are not ever going to change 
or it's gonna take them a lot longer to figure out that they need to change, and that's okay. The most important thing is that you're doing what you think you need to do to live your best life. So with all that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope I was able to help someone out there. I know I kinda went through these topics pretty fast, there's a lot of loaded information that I could have gone into each of these topics. Let me know in the comments if there is something more you'd like me to go more in depth on. I can definitely do a whole diet video. I can show you what I eat on a daily basis, what I was eating while I was losing the weight. I can go into more detail about intermittent fasting, which I'm super passionate about and I believe in very much. And I can definitely do more deep dives into fitness. So let me know what you guys wanna see. I just wanna make content that's gonna help you live the life that you wanna live. So thank you guys. I'll see you in the next video.